Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the ever famous Lululemon Everywhere belt bag and I have two colors. So if you guys are interested, then just uh, keep on watching. Before we get into this little video, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel. I vlog, I do reviews like this, and I'd love to have you along my YouTube journey. Also, follow me on Instagram. It would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, I guess with that being said, let's just get on into what I think about these bags. So starting off, as you guys can see, I have two colors. I just got this white one and it's just so pretty, but it does have some negative things about it. Um, also, I'm gonna show you guys what I keep inside. You can fit so much stuff and I'll show you guys all of the stuff inside at the end of the video because I kind of just already did one, but I don't wanna you know, bore you guys. So I'm gonna just do the review first and then I'll show you guys what's inside. So this bag fits a liter, I believe. I don't know if I'm correct on that, but I've just heard other people say that. But again, like I said, I'll show you guys everything that I keep in here. Um, it's very deceiving. It looks pretty small, but you can fit a lot of stuff in here. This is the extended strap version. So as you guys can see, there's this um, little piece of fabric here and it just slides and then there's another piece of fabric. So to adjust the strap, you would need to um, like pull one way like this and then pull the strap here and then you have this tail and you'll need to use the little elastics to like stretch it out. So this bag is a little bit um, different than the original quote unquote, but on the app, they say that this is the everywhere belt bag. So I preferably like this just because having this hard plastic like everywhere to me is just annoying and kind of bulky. And with this, it's just a lot more like clean, sleek, looks less bulky. I know other people have different opinions, which is totally fine. Um, but in my opinion, I like this better. We have the little Lululemon logo in the bottom corner, which I really like. I like the um, the detail that they actually like made it metal. It's not just like a sticker. As well as the fact that the zipper is a little bit different too than the older version. So the older version, they had metal be the zipper and right now it is plastic, like the new updated extended strap, whatever you want to call it. The newer version does not have metal, which I like. Little side note, I had a belt bag or fanny pack just like this from a different company and it was really cute. It was like a dark navy blue. Um, the texture was a little different, but it was exactly like the old version of the everywhere belt bag with the metal zipper, the metal interior logo. And I liked that one a lot, but every time I would open it or touch the zipper, I know this is, sorry about the lighting again. <laughs> it's the clouds moving. Every time I would like, this is like a nitpicky thing to say, but every time I would open the bag and like touch the zipper, like my hands would get that metallic-y smell. And it was just annoying because I used to use um, my old belt bag um, that I actually sold it on eBay and I actually gained money from it because it looks exactly like this, but it had like the peach and it said a different name on it. So I actually like made money from that, which is kind of cool because I put it on like eBay saying like look alike and it actually sold. So I was kind of proud of that because I was like, oh, this probably isn't gonna sell, but whatever, but it did. But when I used that one, I used it as an actual belt bag. Like I wore it around my waist because I was filming events and stuff around the community. So I would need to like have easy access to like my hand sanitizer and everything. And yeah, it was just like annoying because when after I like zip it closed, after I like pinched it together with my hands, my hands would get that metallic-y smell. So I'm really glad that this one they changed it basically and they have this plastic and it is water resistant um, like the fabric is which i'm really happy about because i live in florida and it always rains here next up i'm going to talk about the strap so the strap is kind of like a seat belt material um, i really like that it kind of like matches the material of the never lost keychain which i'll show you guys in just a minute also i watched this other ladies review and you can fit in a water bottle in here 
Isn't that crazy? Like, you can fit a full water bottle in here. Okay, so I got this just normal size 16 ounce water bottle. I believe it's 16. 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle. So I'm gonna put this in here. What if it doesn't fit? Like, oh my gosh, it fits. Hold on, people. That's wild. It does fit. Now, obviously, you don't have a lot of room left, maybe for like your ID and like a car key um, and a hand sanitizer, maybe. But a water bottle does, in fact, fit in here. So that's kind of cool to know. Just gonna give you an overview look of the new belt bag. Um, so this is the front. On the back, we have the zipper right here. Nothing in there. Sorry, that was my water bottle. And then um, jumping inside here, we have this silicone sticker here. Then we have the tag and it just basically says it's one size. And then inside here, we have this big pocket and this is like a mesh material. Um, you can kind of see. And then flipping it around, this is the front pouch. There's two pockets there. Um, and then you have this big, big hole, this big hole here. And then this right here is like a little silicone piece that says Lululemon on it. And I kind of like it. It's a little, little touch there. It's a little cute detail. Then we have this metal uh, zipper pull and it's nice and sleek and pretty tiny. A lot of people don't like the size of it, but frankly, I do. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I'm like trying my hardest, but um, this just says Lululemon on it. It's just like imprinted on there. And then finishing off this little like tour of the bag, um, this is like what the clip looks like. It's kind of weird. It's kind of not your traditional clip. It has this like T looking structure here. So it's interesting, but honestly, it looks like any other clip from like the normal point of view. So overall carrying this bag, I carried this on a trip with me and it was really convenient to just like throw over my shoulder. Um, I keep this in my big everyday tote bag. Um, I have the Neverfull, so it's really convenient just to like throw in there, but then when you're on the go running errands, you can just like pick this up and then throw it over your shoulder or throw it over and wear it like this. This is a little short. Like I know some girls like actually wear it like this, which I'm like, I don't know how you're doing that because it's kind of like choking me. I don't know, but it's convenient to unzip and like get everything you need out of it. And if you guys were wondering, the zipper is really easy. So I'm like barely trying right now and I'm like being able to open it. It's convenient. Then you can like grab whatever you need. I think if you were like traveling to, uh, maybe you were in like a big crowd, like a stadium or something, um, this would be good to have just to like have your belongings like close to you. So you wouldn't have to worry about um, like people stealing your stuff, I don't know. Or just like easy access. Really convenient, love the design of it. Okay, so moving on to why I got the white one. So my friend and I both got black ones and then my friend turned hers in and she got a gray one. And the gray was like super pretty, but I didn't really want the gray one. I like the black and given the fact that like I spill everything, I swear, I've gotten coffee on my white Define jacket like probably three times and luckily it's come out like the stain has, but I'm just not lucky when it comes to that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep the black one and that's fine. But then she traded her gray one in for a white one and I'm like, oh my gosh, that bag is gorgeous and it was so pretty and like I just loved the way it looked on and she sent me a picture and I was like, oh my gosh, but it would have taken too long to like get before the trip to like match. So I was like, whatever, I'll see the bag in person. Cause she obviously had it and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a pretty bag. Then someone at work, like I saw on Instagram posted and they had a white one. I'm like, that's just such a pretty bag. So I decided to get it and Honestly, I'm not as happy as I thought I was gonna be. Like, I love it, don't get me wrong. But if you're worried about it being see-through, it's see-through. Like, I'm just gonna be plain and simple. Like, if you care about seeing stuff, like, I can see the $1 bill on the back here. Like, and I can tell that's a $1 bill. 
Um, it's kind of see-through. It's a beautiful bag. Like again, I love it. You're probably wondering why I kept the black one. Well, I kept the black one because number one, I really like the black one. Um, and it's a really good just staple to have. It'll match anything just like the white one will. And I just kept it because my mom uses fanny packs. And when we go to like the parks or whatever, she can just use this one. So I'm giving this to her. So this is basically hers. But if I get sick of this one or if it gets dirty or whatever, I could probably just take this one back. So there was like a couple stupid reasons why I kept the black one. But um, this is all to say if you're thinking about getting one, getting the white or the black. But I would go with the black if you don't like seeing the stuff. So I will do a close up so you guys can see what I'm seeing. But it's see through and also too, I don't know if this is psychological or the bag is actually different, but this one feels thicker than this one. And like, I've been trying to compare this for like the longest time. Are they the same thickness? And like, I wanna say yes, but the white one just feels thinner. You know what I mean? The texture's the same. I think it's psychological, guys. I don't know what's going on, but if you're looking for one and you don't know what neutral color you wanna go with, I would go with the black first. And then if you really, really like it and little things don't matter to you, like I'm sure this will get wear and tear. And if you wear it with jeans, I'm sure there's gonna be color transfer. Um, that's just common sense. So I don't, I mean, I haven't used this that long, I've used this one longer, obviously, but just using common sense, I'm sure that like this one will get more wear and tear faster. Um, but honestly, I don't regret it because I just really, really like the white. Okay, so I will insert some pictures from my phone. This camera's not doing a good job picking it up, which is good because maybe, you know, if you're Joe Schmo walking along the sidewalk, they're not gonna see but you yourself are gonna be like up close to this thing. You will see that I have a Germex in this little pocket right here. So just keep that in mind. Um, the detail on the Lululemon silicone piece is gray and then everything else is white. I don't think I showed this little piece, but this is a little zipper pull and it's like hard plastic. Kind of reminds me of an aglet, like from a tennis shoe string and it's like looped along there. My overall review of these bags, okay, thumbs up. I love them so much. Um, I think they're really good price point. They're 38 bucks um, from Lululemon, which, you know, Lululemon, like $100 leggings and just crazy stuff like that. Um, I pay way too much money, but they're good quality. I think you'll get a good bang for your buck if you want to invest and get yourself a Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. And I would go with black for like your first one because again, the white is just, I don't know, but I love it so much and I don't really care about those things. Now getting on to what fits inside. I am going to put my phone in here so you guys will get like the full on like treatment of this video. This I'm telling you can fit so much stuff. Like I have this like packed to the rim just to show you guys how much you can actually fit inside okay she's a little bulky as you guys can tell still super light again i can throw it on my shoulder run get whatever i need um it's small enough to fit inside your big tote bag i would love to use like my mini pochette as an everyday bag that i could just like grab but it's too small i could use my um, mini Palm Springs backpack, which I really want to do, but putting that mini backpack inside my big tote bag is just like, it's too big, like, it's too chunky. But this is just right, and um, I really wanted to get the Gucci Soho Disco bag, but I'm not in the market for those prices <laughs> at this moment. So this will do, and it's really good because we always go to like the parks and stuff, and it's just really good. So getting on into what's inside, starting off gonna unzip it. And basically, let me take the mask out. So first off, I have a disposable mask in here. We have to wear masks at work again. So um, that's why I have that in there. As you guys can see, it holds a lot of shit. Starting off, we're gonna just start off with the big things in the middle. So first off, I have my keys. And this little cute bag is so adorable. I got it from Publix. 
and it's just a miniature reusable bag and then on the back well on the front it has the p for Publix, and then the back it says don't forget your bags and i don't know why i find it to be like the cutest thing ever so i just kept it on there and then i just have my keys not too many i have my lululemon never lost keychain and this is what i was kind of telling you the texture and the material of the strap of the belt bag is pretty much the same um texture and feeling of this keychain which is kind of nice but it's kind of huge so i kind of have to like scrunch it up when i put it in this bag then i just have my little gucci wallet key holder card holder whatever you want to call it so um just have all my cards in here I just have all of my cards here and then my also my business card which I just restocked up on because I was running a little low on those which is nice to have. Next up I have my AirPods and this is such a cute case like I love this case but I lost the top of it somewhere. I have no idea where that went so RIP the top of that case and then um, I have this is a little glasses pouch when I don't have my big tote I can put my glasses in here and then just you know throw the shades on these are the Ray-Ban hexagonal shape I've had these for forever the glasses case can fit in here but it's just like takes up a lot of room so I just like the pouch just so my glasses don't get scratched. Then I have a pen because you never know when you're gonna need a pen. And this is a cool purple one. And then it has like the stylus where you can like write stuff on your phone or like when I'm getting my nails done or like soaking my nails off, this is convenient to have so I can like still like play on my phone. Moving on to the like pouches in the front. I don't know if you guys can like really tell here, but I have my hand sanitizer. This is what I was telling you guys. You could kind of like see through in the bag. Then in this other little pocket, I have two little perfume samples. Um, an adapter for my computer to USB. It's just somewhere where I know it is kept. So um, then I have my little outlet plug for my computer for like the extender. Then I have this Bitcoin, which I'm so surprised. Like this is, this has made it, this is a little like plastic Bitcoin from my friend's Halloween costume. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, and then this is for my camera. And then lastly, um, I keep my phone if I was like out and about I would keep my phone in this back pocket with this um, This mesh so it's kind of like away from from all the other stuff. You know what I mean? So then moving on to the back So this back pocket I actually keep a lot of stuff in um, so first off I have a few dollars then I have a band-aid, a hair tie, and a tampon because use both. And then the rest of this stuff is like cards and everything. Oh, have a quarter, found that on the ground. Then I have a nail file because sometimes I get like, my nails get like rough and everything. Then I have a few more band-aids. I have my, more of my business cards an appointment card for my doctor's office, the wine room. This is such a good place in Winter Park. And I like to keep this with me for my aunt comes or I go out with some friends. Then I have a Target gift card. This is just a like little key card to get into the pool at my community pool. And then these I found in my other wallet because I have like two wallets. But I have this gift card to Olive Garden, Longhorn, Cheddar's, Yard House, Bahama Breeze, basically like all of these restaurants I can use this at, which I forgot I had, and then a little membership to Top Golf, and I might as well just keep that in my bag because never know when you're gonna go to Top Golf. But anyway, that is everything that is in my Lululemon belt bag. As you guys can see, it holds quite a bit of your everyday essentials and like stuff you might need or want. Um, I have more stuff in my large tote bag but it's not like I need those things like when I'm out and about running errands or whatever. So I hope this was like a really in-depth review for you guys um, because I like watching these videos, especially if I wanna purchase something. And there's been some good reviews out there, but I don't know, I just like, 
I just like the long chit chatty like talking to a friend vibe so hopefully that was good for you guys you got something out of this video let me know down below if you are going to get a belt bag and like what color you would want there's so many pretty colors I don't know I feel like I would just like clash with all of my outfits if I had like an actual color so I just stick to the neutral colors um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.